me like you guys had, even though you'd never met before you came together and, and wrote, that there were some common threads that you felt like the Lord had been speaking to you guys individually, even before mm -hmm. you started to write. So can you just tell me a little bit about that? I had just gone through some stuff with the Lord in the couple of days before. And I remember saying to you guys, look, something has just happened to me. It's been this profound working of the Holy Spirit in, in my inner being in a way that probably could have only happened during the pressure of lockdown and quarantine where literally there was nowhere to go. <laughs> I couldn't run away from myself and my own junk and my own issues. And so I had just had this encounter with the Lord and actually something had like lifted off of me in prayer, but I was pretty vulnerable coming into that writing session. And then Chrissy, you said this thing, you had an encounter with the Lord the night before as well. And then you said this line, something along the lines of the deepest work happens in the hidden place. Mm. And it was like you were prophesying to me. Mm. It was like you were talking directly to me. So I felt like there was a kind of a synergy of the Holy Spirit was at work in a pretty profound way. Like right yeah. before, right before we got into the room together. I think it was either that morning um, or the day before that I had I had gone through some really deep depths also with my extended family. And um, and you're right, like songwriting, it's a very vulnerable thing. And it's so it's hard to be, you know, completely honest. It's a it's a different setup when you come into a co-write because it's you you have to be honest to write worship songs, right? Like you have to be the most true to yourself. And so I as you're saying this, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. I had that happen. I think it was either that morning or the night before I went through this horrible experience and and just trying to make sense of it all. And then and then what you said, yes, the deepest work happens there. But but you being vulnerable and willing to share um, what God was doing with you, um, and me being vulnerable, and Mitch, you were too. Um, yeah. It just that's a rare and beautiful thing that doesn't always happen in a first time co-write. So you know the spirit is at work. <laughs> the, the spirit then brings the safety into the room because you start sensing him in one another. Yeah. And I, I think yeah. that was what was so beautiful about that time. I think that was really the thing that unlocked this to happen mm -hmm. um, because that's the thing with songwriters. It's it's more than just writing but it's actually knowing the spirit enough to be how do, how do we create a space that is safe enough for people to be vulnerable and and for us all to open our hearts and share what the lord's doing and i feel like that can only happen through the holy spirit and i remember that that day um i normally like to you know like pre prepare and and come in with something. And I remember that day, um, I think God just said to me, like, don't, because I just want, I want you to come in without anything today. Mm -hmm. And which sometimes happens and just, and just listen. And, and I remember we were all like, I think God was really doing deep works in us all. And I just remember having that conversation. It was probably for about half an hour or 40 minutes. And then when we started <clears throat> writing something or, or trying to, I just felt God's grace over it because it just seemed to flow really easily and just quickly. So yeah, that was really encouraging. I think um, I just, yeah, it's, it's always nice when that happens. <laughs> Was there a sense of, um, did you feel like the Holy Spirit was speaking to you before you guys came together or did you just dive straight in cold or how did it work? Well, and I think there's something really beautiful about um, approaching a right as listeners of the Holy Spirit 
and not as necessarily even creators ourselves, you know, but just opening up our ears and our hearts to hear what he has to say in that moment. And when all three people in the room do that at the same time, um, then we should be hearing the same message, like you said, Harmony. And um, literally, it's it's almost spiritual harmony. That's what it is, it feels mm -hmm. like. Um, when you have a right with that type of dynamic, um, when everybody's hearts are tuned in, tuned into the Holy Spirit. And that and he delivered a clear message. You're right, Harmony. It was it was what was already been had been prepared in your heart for a long time. Mm -hmm. And um it's 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 just literally all tuning in and, and then we can hear what he has to say and it was it was just so beautiful that we heard the same thing.